All praise due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, who could be better in religion than those who direct themselves wholly to God, do good and follow the religion of Abraham, who was true in faith. God took Abraham as a friend. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that our master prophet Muhammad is his votary and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. True Islam means submission, obedience, and surrender to the Almighty Allah and to love and follow Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. It means morality, modesty, humbleness, kindness when dealing with all people. It also means mercy and love of the whole universe. It also means development and construction. It is a comprehensive way of life that its followers adhere to in all of their movements and actions. Islam is a religion that calls for goodness, well-being, reform, and development of the world with religion, not to distract it in the name of religion. It is a religion that calls for mercy, security, peace for the whole world, as the Almighty Allah says, it was only as a mercy that we sent you, O Prophet, to all people. <clears throat> the pillars of Islam are stated in the hadith of Jibril when he asked the Prophet, peace be upon him, saying, O Muhammad, tell me about Islam. He, peace be upon him, replied, Islam is to testify that no one has the right to be worshipped but Allah, and that Muhammad is his messenger, and that you observe a prayer, pay zakat, observe psalm of Ramadan, and perform hajj, provided that you have resources of making journey to it. When contemplating these pillars, one realizes that they contribute to building a perfect personality. When a Muslim believes that God is the one who has no partner and that our master Prophet Muhammad is servant and messenger, he seeks to fulfill the requirements of this testimony by obeying the commands of Allah and avoiding his prohibitions. He will also do his best to follow the path of Prophet peace be upon him, who was an example of mercy, compassion, modesty, and kindness. Prayer, which is the greatest pillar of Islam, has its benefits for the worshiper, as it prevents him from committing indecent actions or evil. It also guides him to be upright and to have peace with himself and with the whole society. As Allah the Almighty says, <clears throat> O Prophet, recite what has been revealed to you of the scripture. Keep up the prayer. Prayer restrains outrageous and, and unacceptable behavior. Remembering Allah is greater. Allah knows everything you are doing. Zakah has a great, a great religious as well as human aspects. As it purifies one's soul from being attached to materialistic interests and makes him realize that money is just a means, not a goal. Zakah is also a way of cooperation, compassion, and sympathy with others. The Muslim community does not know selfishness or negativity. It is a religion of giving and sacrifice, and a true believer is benevolent. The Almighty Allah said in praising the Ansar, those who were already firmly established in their homes in Medina and firmly rooted in faith, Show love for those who migrated to them for refuge and harbor no desire in their hearts for what has been given to them. They give them preference over themselves, even if they too are poor. Those who are saved from their own soul's greed are truly successful. As for fasting, it perfects the morals of a Muslim by making him always observing Allah. It teaches him patience, forbearance, self-promotion, and transcendence over all evils that Allah hates. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Fasting is a shield. If any one of you is fasting, let him not, let, let him not utter obscene talk or raise his voice in anger. And if anyone insults him or wants to fight, let him say, I am fasting. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, Whoever does not give up lies and false conduct, Allah is not in need of him leaving food and drink, that Allah will not accept his fasting. <clears throat> Hajj represents a behavioral and moral commitment before and during and after the completion of its rites. 
As the Almighty Allah says, the pilgrimage takes place during the prescribed month. There should be no indecent speech, misbehavior, or quarreling for anyone undertaking the pilgrimage. Whatever good you do, Allah is well aware of it. Provide well for yourselves. The past provision is to be mindful of Allah. Always be mindful of me. You have you who have understanding. Abu Huraira narrated that Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, said, whoever performs Hajj to this house, meaning Kaaba, and does not approach his wife for sexual relations nor commits sins while performing Hajj, he will come out as sinless as newly born child. Thus, all pillars of Islam have their implications that bring goodness peace and safety to the whole society. Pondering over the provisions of our religion, one realizes that it is the religion of morality and its message is to perfect these morals. As our Prophet peace be upon him says, I have been sent to perfect good character. Thus, true Islam means faithfulness, loyalty, honesty, righteousness, goodness with one's relatives, generosity, peacefulness to others, relieving those in need, helping the desperate, and kindness with animals, etc. There is no doubt that understanding the essence of Islam, knowing the wisdom of its tolerant message, identifying its objectives, and applying all of this in light of the new developments of our time are urgent necessities to face contemporary challenges, to confront the terrorist and extremist groups, fight deviant thought and overcome narrow-mindedness. Such understanding is necessary to be more open-minded, insightful, and to work to achieve the interests of people, spread high human values that achieve security, safety, peace, stability, and happiness for all humanity. One of the most important duties in Islam is that every Muslim should showcase Islam's various aspects of greatness so that the entire world would realize the fact that it is a religion of peace that should be called for. Peace is one of the names of Allah. The Almighty Allah says, He is Allah other than whom there is no other deity, the sovereign, the pure, the peace, and the best tour of faith. The greeting of Islam is peace. Allah says, O oh, you who have believed, when you go forth to fight in the cause of Allah, investigate. And do not say to those who give you a greeting of peace, you are not believers. The greeting of the paradise dwellers is also peace. Allah says, the angels descend upon them from every gate, saying, Peace be upon you for what you, you patiently endured, and excellent is the final home. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, also used to supplicate Allah, the Almighty, after every prayer, saying, O oh Allah, you are a salam, and from you a salam. You are blessed, O oh one of magnificence and generosity. Islam is a religion that preserves human dignity, so it forbids backbiting and envying each other, hating, hating each other, degrading each other, and causing harm to each other, be it in words, actions, signs, or gestures. Allah the Almighty says, O oh, you who have believed, let not a people ridicule another people. Perhaps they may be better than them. Nor let women ridicule other women. Perhaps they may be better than them. And do not insult one another, and do not call each other by offensive nicknames. Wretched is the name of disobedience after one's faith, and whoever does not repent, then it is those who are the wrongdoers. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, banned striking someone on his faith. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, saw an animal that had been branded, he said, May Allah curse he who branded it. Also, when the Prophet, peace be upon him, was asked about a woman who used to observe fasting and prayers, yet she harms her neighbors, he said, she is in the hellfire. In this connection, peace, he, 
peace be upon him, said, He who believes in Allah and the last day, let him be hospitable to his guest. And he who believes in Allah and the last day, let him maintain good ties of blood relationships. And he who believes in Allah and the last day, <clears throat> must speak good or remain silent. With that said, I ask Allah for forgiveness for me and for you. <clears throat> All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that our Master Prophet Muhammad is servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his family, and companions. Muslim brothers, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, entrenched the tolerant teachings of Islam, its decent ethics and moral values in the hearts of its followers, until they became a way of life. Jafar ibn Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, when standing before the Negus, he showed some of these noble values. Fully confident of himself, he said, O oh, king, we were a people in a state of ignorance and immorality, worshipping idols and eating the flesh of dead animals, committing all sorts of abomination and shameful deeds, breaking the ties of kinship, treating guests badly, and the strong among us exploited the weak. We remained in this state until God sent us a prophet, one of our own people whose lineage, truthfulness, trustworthiness, and integrity were well known to us. He called us to worship Allah alone and to renounce the stones and idols which we and our ancestors used to worship besides God. He commanded us to speak the truth to honor our promises and to be kind to our relations, to be helpful to our neighbors, to cease all forbidden acts, to abstain from bloodshed, to avoid obscenities and false witness, to not appropriate an orphan's property nor slander chaste women. He ordered us to worship God alone and not to associate anything with him, to uphold prayer, to give charity. So a true believer does not tell lies or betray or cheat. He is the one from whose tongue and hand people are safe. He is the one from whose harm people's blood, honors, properties, and souls are safe. He is the one who is an embodiment of the ethics of Islam. So he extends good and righteousness to all people. If we actually want to offer a comprehensive definition for the true believer, suffice it here to offer that one by the Prophet peace be upon him. He said, should not I tell you about the true believer? The believer is the one from, who's, uh, from whom their meaning people, wealth and lives are safe. And the muhajir is the one who forsakes mistakes and sins. The message of Islam is that of humanity, wisdom, tolerance, mercy, and flexibility. It is a message of unity, not disunity. Islam is all just, all mercy, all tolerant, all ease, and all humane. All what realizes these sublime meanings mainly belong to Islam, and what, what's against them is actually against Islam. O oh Allah, guide us to the best of deeds and best of manners for no one can guide to the best of them but you. And protect me from bad deeds and bad manners, for no one can protect against them but you. O oh Allah, protect Egypt and its armed and police forces from all evil and harm. <clears throat>